Hello guys. Currently Nigeria is shaking. The Southeast leaders are now waking up from their slumber. They begin to see that the injustice, Bazenam the Kano and the all Biafra dictators are crying out for is really real. Because the way they are being treated by Nigerian government is not normal. You understand? Yeah, according to these Igbo senators, they said President Bola Metunubu must release Inam the Kano now because they are tired of the situations they have found themselves in their region. According to Imo uh, Ikenga Hugo Chinyere, they cannot freely go to their region again because of insecurity. But it seems that the Nigerian government is enjoying what is happening in the Southeast. And to them, make them go die. Just leave them to die because the government, they are not even showing concern about what is happening in the Southeast. And they know the key of the problem in the Southeast. This is So they are saying that Nigerian government is aware that some demons have invaded the region in the name of protesting for Mazenam the Kanu's release. And most of these people who are doing this by even being Nigerian agents, just trying to, you know, bring down the Southeast region. You understand? They said this time they will not, they will not keep quiet again, allowing their, you know, their region to crumble because these people do not like them. So the reason why, you know, they... They are still keeping Mazenam the Kano. Even Mazenam the Kano, there are some persons, somebody like Sunday Bo, uh, Omoye El uh, these, uh, these, uh, Mieti, uh, President Bodijo. Federal government levied, uh, them the same charges, okay, about terrorism, whatever, whatever. These people are, are now free. Nigerian government have withdrawn, you know, every charges against them. But why is it that when they can't come to Igbo person, their own is different? Yes. So they, 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 they said, this is not the issue of Mazenam the Kano anymore or, or Simon Ekba. In the first place, it was the Nigerian government that, you know, brought Simon Ekba to the picture. Because if they actually did the needful, they don't think Simon Ekba will emerge from anywhere. So is the Nigerian government that is actually uh, contributing to every happening in the Southeast. He also talked about an Igbo man who is kept in Lagos prison because he said, you should stand, you should stop killing our people. You understand? He said that as well. A man is being held in Lagos detention just because he said that... Um, the 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 southeasterners who are killing them that was after uh, Peter Obi won in Lagos. You understand? Should stop because since the government is not doing anything about that, maybe he's just to invite hyper agitators to come protect them. They don't buy the people when they don't buy the properties when they don't destroy. They don't destroy. That will not be anything. But just because he said. Okay, since we now want, we now want protect us and our properties, maybe we will go invite these people come to protect us. See, today, this man is still in detention. He's still facing trial. In matter won't come be like in Mazenam, the Kanu matter self. Because even the trial self is very epileptic. You understand? So Ugo Chinyere expressed his belief that Kanu's prolonged detention is rooted in ethnic bias pointing out that Kano's Igbo heritage appears to be a key factor in his ongoing imprisonment. So the PDP lawmaker questioned Yureshona behind the detention, highlighting the lack of a fair trial for Kano. So there is no even, no trial. So why is he now still in, in detention, he asks, because he's an Igbo man. That is why Ugo Chinyere remarked. Ugo Chinyere uh, comment also extended to another controversial case involving an Igbo traditional ruler who is currently in prison in Lagos for speaking out against the attacks on Igbo businesses and killing of Igbo people. 
According to the lawmaker, the traditional ruler was arrested after calling for a defense against the continued attacks, citing the right of the Igbo people to protect their businesses and lives as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution. Another traditional ruler, an Igbo man, is being kept in a Lagos prison because he dared to speak out. He said, if you don't stop attacking our businesses and killing our people, we will bring help to defend our land. We are exercising our constitution right to either vote or choose leaders. Ugo Chinyere, a Chinyere explained. The statement has sparked renewed concerns over the systematic marginalization of the Igbo people in Nigeria. We Kenga Imo Gochinyere called for urgent reforms to address what he described as a selective application of justice, arguing that it undermines the rights and freedoms of the Igbo ethnic group. His comments underline the growing discontent among the Igbo people regarding their treatment in Nigeria, as well as the perceived imbalance in the country's approach to justice and e e equality. Ugo Chinyere's call for greater attention to the constitutional rights of the Igbo people reflects the need for a more inclusive and equitable system of governance in Nigeria. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.